This week I'm going to be refurbishing this ornate metal garden bench. Basically I'm going to be painting it, well I'm going to be sanding it down to get all the rusty bits off and preparing it and then painting it. As you can see it's got some rust in places here. I'm going to use this coarse sandpaper just to get some of the rust off and to make sure there's no flaky bits of paint. You can see it's a little bit rough here, but that'll be fine once it's painted. I'm going to get the worst of the rust off with this wire attachment on my drill. That's much quicker than using sandpaper. I'm putting a bit of tarpaulin down just to catch any excess paint that might drip off, as I don't want it going all over my lawn. I'm going to be using a cream colour hammerite smooth metal paint. Stirred the pot and now I'm just going to slap this on. Well, I'm going to make sure I brush it on very evenly and smoothly. I'm tipping the bench up just to make it a little bit easier to paint the sides and the base. I'm making sure I'm not going to put too much on and I'm going to be doing a couple of coats and it's always better just to put a couple of light coats on to avoid any dripping. Now for the other side and the top. Okay, that's the first coat done. It does need another coat, but overall it's pretty good. The paint has run a little bit here, but I'll let this dry and then I'll rub it down with a bit of coarse sandpaper. Okay, now it's dry. I'm going to rub any excess dry drips off. Actually, I'm using a medium grade sandpaper. Okay, now for the second coat. I'm just painting the underneath first. And then now for the top bit. I'm making sure I get good overall coverage. Okay, that's the second coat done. It looks like most of it has dripped off onto the tarpaulin though. Okay, it's now had two coats of hammerite. And now I'm gonna sand it down with a P180 grade paper. I'm using a smooth grade sandpaper just before I give this another light coat of paint. Because you can see here there's sections where you can still see through. I just need a little bit more paint on. So I'm gonna give it a third and final coat. I'm sanding down any imperfections. You can see there's quite a few rough bits here. There's a slight drip here. But that sanded down okay. Now it's ready for the third and final coat. Great, that's all dry. And it's come up pretty well. You can see it's a little bit rough in places. But it just adds to the rustic antique look. But overall it's pretty good. And it looks quite good at the front of my shed. There's a nice view of the garden from here. I think I'll have a little sit down. Well that's made it look a bit better. So I'm not sure what to do with it now. Should I leave it here or should I sell it? Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for some more DIY videos. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this bench. Should I keep it or should I sell it?